All right, it's like 5.30 in the morning and we're ready to go to Nantucket. We're just leaving Provincetown here, um, which has been really nice. We really like Provincetown. Um, we've met some good friends here that I think we'll, we'll always remember. We saw some whales, Brooke absolutely loves whales. We're gonna see, try to see some more whales along the way. Uh, it should be a good trip. Let's see what we can find. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. So when these kids are tired from running up and down these sand dunes, who's carrying them back? You. I think so, but I only have one arm. Oh, one arm. Why I, do you only have one uh, arm? I have two. I have two, but they're getting kind of big, and this isn't easy stuff to run on. No. But Penn's all pumped. He's just not going to be pumped on the way back. It means he's going to sleep well, don't you? Yeah. Wow. Prior to taking off to Nantucket, we had to go check out the dunes that everyone had been telling us about in Provincetown. If no one had told us, I would have not have known these existed. It was amazing. The kids had a blast jumping off the dunes and honestly, just being free little wild kiddos. Do a quick engine room check. Make sure that everything's still good here. I'm sure it is, but always good to check.
Hey, Rooney. <laughs> hey. This does not look like a clean room. Hey, but Rooney, are you having fun? Yeah. That's all that matters. All right. I guess I don't need those on. Something interesting that we learned in Massachusetts specifically is that as of September 1st, single-use plastic bottles, like water bottles, were, are, I guess, prohibited. It's super interesting. Uh, you can buy a single-use plastic bottle of Coke, Diet Coke, or Sprite, but not water. I'm just curious if you're from Massachusetts, what do you think of this? Do you think it's a beneficial uh, ruling? Or is it annoying? Good, bad? What are the problems with it? I am just fascinated by it. I can see, obviously, single-use plastic water bottles are not good for the environment and they make no sense and stuff like that. And people should be recycling. And we obviously love the ocean. We live on it and we care very much about the ocean. But, um, and the earth and the people that live on the earth and the plants and the animals and but why is it okay for you to buy soda but not water is this a phase out plan for all plastic usage i mean brenda and i were saying why don't they ban the material and not the liquid inside like it should all be aluminum and glass and like no plastic because what happens is like if we're out and about for the day and we need a drink we want to go buy water, but we can't find it. It's like a can of water, uh, and so we end up buying like a vitamin water or soda or something that's probably not as good for us. Anyway, I'm not claiming either side. I just thought it was an interesting thing. Like we could not find water anywhere, like anywhere in Massachusetts. So but anyway, we're cruising. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful out here. It's sunny. It's not very windy we got a little bit of a head sea so we're hobby horsing because we're super loaded on fuel but we're also meeting our friends if you guys know who uh, Jessica and Ryan are on uh, Jessica and Ryan adventures uh, they're a cute family on catamaran so we're gonna see them in Nantucket and our friends on Warbird hopefully as well so it'll be a good week we're gonna stay there for a week at a dock treat ourselves and just catch up on life and we've been on the move at anchor or on a mooring since so that's kind of the plan we've got ooh, like four hours to go there's a giant sunfish up here let's go let's go take a peek i forgot one thing so I guess our main question for you is what is the solution with the plastic problem? Like, what is the easiest and best solution? I think Yeti should make a really lightweight bottle that might not be insulated, but something like that, that's easy to carry around. Then you don't have a cold drink if it's not insulated. Um, how can you encourage using less plastic in everyday life? It's like, I've also heard statistics, statistics on the flip side where producing a bunch of aluminum and glass is like costly and not necessarily 100% better for the environment as well. So what is the solution? What is the solution? And uh, I'm just curious, obviously it's a, not even a, an issue compared to the scale of issues going on in this world right now, but just a, a thoughtful talking point or question like anyway also Brayden wanted to know a few things too so he's gonna jump in here and we're gonna ramble on for a little bit when he's done scrubbing the deck So we're gonna make pasta tonight. Use sausage, 
some basil, onion, squash, tomato, mushroom, pretty much whatever we have left. We're just like mushroom, garlic, olive oil, and onion powder, uh, squash, and some sausage. Just put it all together. Throw in the tomatoes last. Mix it in the pasta. All that cheese just stirred. Voila. I'm gonna probably put some of this basil in too at the end. Okay, so I had said that Brayden wanted to jump in and talk about some things while we're cruising. So it's, it's your turn. So I found something really cool the other day. Is it cool? I don't know, but every once in a while it kind of surprises me. So um, um, Brooke works really hard on the videos. I've noticed that only, what, 40% of people? You wouldn't know, you don't look at the analytics, do you? Only 40% of the people that watch the videos are subscribed. Um, so if you do watch it, you're not subscribed, um, subscribe please if you want to see more. And then uh, the comments are really cool. It's, it's nice to see the comments, to hear what people have to say. And speaking of the comments, Brooke put out the other day, what did you say? What was your dream boat? Yeah, it was just a simple picture, just in the community section. And I was... Uh, Surprised, I guess, is that uh, one brand kept on coming up over and over and over again that you didn't really hear about maybe two years ago. You heard about them, but not seriously. And that's Bering. A lot of people are talking about those the Bering yachts. I think they did that redesign, which is cool. But um, just interested, what do people, what do you like about the Bering yachts? I haven't seen one yet that I can follow, I guess, it's documented that's gone like on extensive passages or anything like that, right? Like Fleming's got Venture that did a bunch and then Nordhaven's got like a lot of boats Obviously. that have done a bunch and they have a cool owner's group. But Bering, I'm interested in that. And then I'm also interested in, I think it's a steel hull. Yeah, so, that's what I thought, but I don't know much about Bering's, I'm not sure. So like you get a little- I just know they're really expensive, right? I don't know. That's all I, guess I we know. got to talk to the sales That's guy. That's all I've heard. It's really expensive. <laughs> but it's it just interesting. So what what is the benefit? Why is it just styling that people like the bearing, or are there features of the bearing that people think are um, must-haves for an ocean crossing boat? Curious. I've not even really seen inside one. Obviously, I've never seen. There's been, there's a couple one. tours that I've seen on the inside. Really? Yeah. Are they like luxurious, or are they more like rugged? Um, they're I'm curious. they're more luxurious, but I would like a rugged boat. I want the Defender of boats. You know how like uh, Range Rover just came out with that new Defender that's all like rubber and mm -hmm. still like nice, but really maintainable. That's what I want for a boat. What would you do to this boat to make it more rugged? <laughs> make it so you can hose down the salon. That's what I would make. <laughs> but what is that? I mean, this wood is really cool, but like. It's pretty durable. It is durable. Yeah, and I mean, it's beautiful. I would change the headliner material because I don't understand that nonsense. Why would you put something in that you have to replace every couple of years because it starts it's sagging? Not, it's 10 years, every 10 years or so. But is it? Is it every 10 years? I don't think so. I don't know. It just doesn't seem necessary. I, you could change a lot, I guess, to make a boat rugged. But this one's, rugged. this one's pretty rugged. It's pretty durable. It is. Which it you got, is. or like a carpet that you can just hose off. They have that, it's called marine carpet. But it's not comfortable, is it? It's not soft. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's made out of those plastic bottles that they stopped selling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that strange? I don't understand that whole thing. So the kids got a glass of water and milk jugs. Which is fine. No, not milk jugs. Um, yeah, milk. That, oh, paper milk cartons. Like milk cartons, like you got in cap, like in the cafeteria in elementary school. Yeah, but get this: you can buy. They were so you can expensive. buy. You can buy a single milk carton for like fifty cents, but if you put water in it, now it's two dollars. It's two dollars, and it's like some swanky logo on the side, but it's just a milk carton, and no one likes drinking water out of paper. Right. Well, they should serve um, filtration not. water at the gas station. It just comes in like a, you just bring your own mug and they can fill They're you They're going to have to in Massachusetts. That would be cool. 
Yeah, so that's a solution. I was asking the audience what a good solution would be. You gotta have be. water available, right? Maybe you could yeah. just like have it so that you can fill it up right there. Like everyone could just fill up their own. Or they could just have more like fill stations around the city. That would be cool too. Then hey, where there's a problem, there's a solution and there's a lot of money to be made. So this is a perfect example of a shifting shoulder. So our truck is right here. Um, there's a little shallow spot here, but it extended to about here to the point where it was three feet under us. Well, that was horrible. There's just a lot of like really strange currents. Like it's a hundred feet deep here, but like right over there, it's like 20 feet. And like right there is land. It's bizarre. So it's pushing us all over the weird ways. And we're only going five knots. My guess is that the storms and these recent hurricanes pushed the sand out uh, and extended the shoal length because it wasn't on Navionics or our charts or Aqua Maps. So we have some friends falling behind us. I let them know just to be aware of that shoal. Somehow, our kind of routine is is for Brooke to do the lines. I don't know how this worked. I think it's because I I have no idea. I think it's because Brooke doesn't. Uh, she's got a specific way that she wants the lines, and she's really good at it. And um, she prefers to do it herself. So um, Brooke got, has the lines, even though they're extremely heavy. Um, I've told her we can get smaller lines, but she likes the heavy ones because they're safer. Um, it's a good workout though. I mean, it's a good workout after a long, long trip underway. I should really go out there and do it though. Ready to go in? Yeah, it'll be nice to be in a dock. It's been a while. Yeah, nice dock at that, huh? Yeah. You feel, you feel like you gotta have uh, everything clean to go into a, a fancy hoity-toity town? Well, if you were going to Oriental, would you worry about this yeah. as much? You still would. You wouldn't? Yeah, I guess I would. So if you look here, there's a really narrow fairway to get in with no depth and a little bit of depth, but really no depth, pretty close. But if you zoom in even closer, what isn't seen is that this right here, you can't really see it so much on this, this uh, zoom. But right here, there's a seawall, and it's submerged at high tide. So luckily, it's not high tide right now. But if it was, you got to come in exactly right and follow the channel, or else uh, you're gonna hit a wall just under the surface. Mermaid monster, Bo Basin. Good afternoon. What's your location in the uh, harbor? Um, we're just coming in between the jetties right here. made it in. Do you remember it being this tight getting in? I don't remember it, but this was like our third place going to on the boat. So I remember everything seemed a lot more difficult. It still felt, it felt pretty tight. There's it current, felt, there's a little bit of current that we weren't expecting. It worked, but um, when last time we were here, it was so foggy. Remember leaving? We couldn't, couldn't see, see anything. Nothing. Had to have the foghorn on. Yeah, um, But you know what time. we do have to do? What? Everyone's boat looks like 
I know. beautiful around here. My We're in with all the, but everyone else has a crew to wash their boat. Where's our crew? I don't know. Does that come with the dock, do you think? I really want to go see Scout. It's my favorite, I, it's not even an expedition yacht, it's too pretty. No, it is. It it's, is, it's like the most glamorous yacht ever. It's like expedition with- With style. Diamond necklace on. It's so pretty. It's right here. This is the closest I've ever been to this yacht. I'm determined to meet these guys. Yeah, it's really cool. And Warbird's here, right next to us. And Jessica and Ryan are anchored out there somewhere. And I'm holding my arm that's holding a camera. Yeah, I think, I think you're, you, I hope the stabilization works on this shot. I'm tired. Okay, and we need to go eat and go, go say hi to everyone. But we're in. We're here for a week to just chill. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, leave us a comment below because we love hearing from you. We will see you all next week for more adventures on Mermaid Monster.